from this tutorial we will start cam environment in this session we will create cnc program for vmc machine at first open the part for which you want to create program click on open and select the part okay then click on new select manufacturing and select general setup now it has taken the name same as your part part name is nx cam1 here also nx cam1 and it has added setup1 to it so you can create as many setup as you want for the same part this part will be reference in that particular file so it will not be directly used it will be only linked here you can see that part to reference is this part nx cam1 therefore you can create as many setup for single part as much you want then select the unit and click on ok here it has created new file nx cam1 setup1.prt this file is called as cam setup file in this setup file here it creates a program parent group automatically and assigns a name 1234 to it and if you want to change the name you just have to right click and click on rename so you can give any name to it right now we are in this program order view to change the view in the operation navigator you will have to select that particular view now this is a machine tool view click on it here it has created a carrier with 30 pockets so it can have 30 tools and it has assigned serial number to it if we double click on this pocket it has given a pocket id 1 to it and adjust register and cut com register are has been kept same as this pocket id click on ok then click on the geometry view in geometry view it has created this machine coordinate system right now it is same as your part coordinate system and if you click on this plus sign it has created workplace also right now it is empty we will have to fill it with our desired workplace at first we will change this machine coordinate system now this machine coordinate system we will keep it at the center of the block and the height will be the height of your raw material to decide the height of raw material at first we will check the height of this part and based on that height we will create the raw material to check the height of this part click here on major distance select this surface then orbit it and select this bottom surface here the height of this part is 41.5 and suppose I want to keep 5 mm extra for the raw material therefore I will take the height as 46.5 that means my machine coordinate system Z will be at 46.5 just double click on this MCS mill and click here on coordinate system dialog then assign here the height of 46.5 and enter now this machine coordinate system is shifted at 46.5 height and click on ok then define your safe clearance distance I will keep this 10 as it is so this Safe clearance distance will be required for the rapid movement of the tool. That means when tool is not cutting, at that time it will be travel at a distance of 10 from the top of your part. So that is this safe clearance distance. Then click on OK. Then next will be to define the workpiece that we want to machine. Double click on this workpiece. And click here on select or edit the part geometry. Then select this part. This is the part we want to 
create after running our program then click on ok then define the raw material click here on select or edit the blank geometry then we will define blank geometry using this bounding block so it will create automatically a block surrounding your part geometry plus we want to assign 5mm extra in the z direction I will change here value to 5 and click outside so if you see the side view here it has added 5mm extra for the blank geometry then click on ok and you can also watch what you have selected by clicking on this display button so this is the part we want to create and this is the raw material and our coordinate system is exactly at the top of our raw material the next will be we will have to defend the material for the blank for that click on this symbol here we'll take this hsm p20 pre harder and click on ok and click on ok so we have defined machine coordinate system and workpiece then next will be to define the tool for machining for that click on this create tool here then from here select mill contour then select this mill scroll down then here tool for tool select this pocket one then give the name to the tool we will be using tool of size 20 r3 click on ok then here diameter this d is this d diameter is 20 and lower radius this r1 this r1 is 3 then scroll it down then we don't want this taper angle tape angle we will keep the length as it is and flute length as it is and we will define flute as 2 and define the material for the tool click here we will take this HSM and mill and click on ok then next will be to define the holder click on holder then we will define this holder from the library so we will just close this section and click on library and click here on retrieve holder from library select milling drilling ok and again ok we will take this one number 6 ok here the holder is defined and if you want to customize the sizes from here you can make the changes to the sizes here the indications has been given same has been given here then click on ok to see the tool click on this machine tool view click on this plus sign and here is this tool that we have just created if you want to make any changes to this tool just double click on it so in this way you can make changes to the tool same way if you want to make any changes to the part or blank geometry then you will have to click on this geometry view and by double clicking on this workpiece you can make changes to part and blank and material same way you can change the machine coordinate system by double clicking on this MCS mill now we have defined all the parameters which are required to create an operation so before that we will see what is this machine method view also click on it so NX automatically created these four types of method parent groups we will see what is this mill drop just double click on it so in this mill method it has assigned the part stop 
for roughening of one. This part stock is the material that will be left after running the roughening operation. So this is the material that will be used for semi finish and finish strategies. And it has given in tool tolerance and out tool tolerance. So your cutting will be done within this tolerance. If you reduce the tolerance, your cutting will be more accurate. Then cut method, that also we will change for that click here. And we will choose this HSM rough milling. You may have observed that we have selected blank material and tool starting with HSM. It is required if you want to generate your machining data automatically. For this type of material and tool and cutting method, machining data is already provided by NX. So it can be generated automatically based on your blank material, then size of the tool and tool material and click on ok so we have defined is hsm rough milling cut method and feeds will be generated automatically for that we will make some settings then only it will be generated automatically click on ok if we check this semi finish it has kept here the stock of 0.3 and for a final finish stock is zero then to generate the machining data automatically click on preferences select manufacturing then select operation scroll down and tick here machining data automatically set in operation click on ok then click on this create operation 